Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Walmart Pay and more specifically, I'm gonna show you how to set up Walmart Pay in the Walmart app. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Walmart Pay, basically what it is, it's similar to Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Google Pay. Basically what you do is you attach your credit card or a payment method to the Walmart app. That way when you go through the register at Walmart, you don't actually have to have your card with you. You can easily pay, pay at the register with your credit card that's already saved on your Walmart app. So it's kind of convenient, especially if you decide to accidentally leave your credit card at home, credit card at home like what I've done. So it's a pretty easy process though, not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. First off, you're gonna wanna open up the Walmart app. It's this blue and yellow one right here. If you don't have this app already, check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there, but I'm gonna go ahead and open the app now. All right, I went ahead and opened up the app and this is the home screen. Here on the home screen, you're gonna see the various specials that Walmart is running. But if you wanna go ahead and set up your Walmart pay on the app, what you wanna do is look here at the bottom, there's this button right in the center called services. I'm gonna click there now. All right, once you click there, you get this large menu of different things that you can do with your Walmart app. But the one you're looking for is gonna be here on the top left called Walmart pay. It looks like it has two brackets and kind of the Walmart star right in the middle. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next you're gonna get this screen and basically it just gives you a rundown of what Walmart pay is. So basically you can use the QR code to pay at the checkout lane. You also earn rewards and you get receipts inside the app. So I'm gonna click this blue get started button now. All right, next Walmart pay is asking for the type of payment method we're gonna be using. So it looks like you can choose a credit or debit card, which is what most people choose. Looks like you can also add your Walmart gift card and also use Chase Pay. I'm gonna click on this top line now. All right, next Walmart pay is asking for me to take a picture of the credit or debit card I'll be adding into the payment methods. Or you can do what I do and just click on this blue button right here called type card info instead. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next Walmart pay is asking for the name that's gonna be on the credit card, the 16 digit card number, expiration date, security code, billing address and phone number that's associated with the credit card I'm going to be using. So I'm gonna enter all that information in off screen now. Okay, so I went ahead and entered all of the required information. Next, I'm gonna click on this blue save button here at the bottom. Okay, next the screen pops up, so you'll need to choose which credit card or debit card you're going to be using if you happen to have multiple. I just have the one, so I'm gonna choose that one. Next, I'm gonna click continue. All right, next Walmart wants you to go ahead and create a PIN number. Since this has to do with payments, then you'll wanna set up a PIN number that is secure and something that you can remember because they're gonna be accessing financial information when you make payments. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my PIN number off screen now. All right, next you'll need to turn on the camera permissions for your phone because that's how Walmart Pay is set up to scan QR codes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera settings on now. All right, I went ahead and entered that in. Next, this pops up, it says you're ready to use Walmart Pay. You can scan all your items first, even at self-checkout. When you're ready to pay, just scan the QR code and then the receipt would be saved in your purchase history. I'm gonna click got it. All right, so there you go. As you can see, Walmart Pay is now set up, ready to go, so I can go ahead and start scanning items. So that's how you can set up Walmart Pay from start to finish. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below, let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.